guys, it's me, Friends, and welcome to another video. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about foods. So, as you may know, there are different kinds of foods. Today, we're going to be talking about fast food. And these are the very unhealthy type of food. They're very unhealthy, so we should avoid eating them. Some examples are pizzas and burgers. Well, of course, they look so tasty but they're very bad for our health. So let me say an example. God um, created the first humans, Adam and Eve. And there was Satan who was the enemy of God and he came in the form of a snake and told Adam and Eve to do something. God told Adam and Eve, you can eat anything except one forbidden food, fruit. Does this seem similar? Yes. Burgers and pizzas are the forbidden foods and the snake is the advertisement in the modern world So we get pulled to eat those delicious looking juicy pizzas and burgers Look how attractive they look, but they're very unhealthy and let me tell you a scientific reason why burgers contain high levels of sodium which you may be like sodium is just salt, but in small levels, it's very, very healthy and it can help you do so many normal bodily functions. But when it goes to a higher level, it is very, very dangerous. That's why burgers are very, very unhealthy. Not only that, you don't know what goes into the meat. It is processed meat. It's made in an open factory, so you don't know what will sit on it. Mosquitoes, flies, who knows? There even may be dirty things such as even insects. Don't get too grossed out, but there are sometimes people have found literal uh, rodents in meat. They are very bad, and companies are tricking you to eat those delicious looking things on the outside, but inside is just packed with venom. And the best alternative to all of these unhealthy junk foods are fruits, vegetables, and a balanced diet. And talking of diets, Indian an Indian diet, breakfast, lunch, and dinner are perfectly balanced out. Uh, like, let's take rice, dal, and vegetables. Dal contains proteins, and rice contains carbohydrates, and and if you, you eat meat with it, it contains proteins at small levels. And then vegetables gives you enough vitamins to support all of your normal bodily functions such as digestion and just pumping the heart. So you get the point there. And if you, and let's talk about fat. Normal thing that they're contained in normal things that we eat every day. They're good in small levels, but are bad in excessive levels because the fat will be stored in your body and will make you big and chubby. And also protein comes with fat. No, fat comes with protein. Protein is good at small levels, but when it goes to a high level, protein will not affect it, but the fat in it will accumulate in your body instead of giving nutrients. It will be stored in the outer parts of your body instead in the bloodstream. It should be in the bloodstream, but it gets stored in your body and makes you big fat. Uh, so that's why we should consume everything in small levels. A study conducted um, shows just two type, three types of people. One, normal people who just eat whatever they want and just be active. And the other group is eat whatever they want and exercise, go to the gym and do things. And the other one is small intake, but just being active. And the, the study showed less input and just normal output is better, which means they ate in small quantities and just kept active around the day instead of sitting in the TV like a couch potato. And that's why less input is better than large outputs because it can, exercising gives more energy out and you just take things in small quantities and just normally be active and exercise daily, you will be fit in just time of months, you will be very fit and ready to go for any activity. And that's how sports stars, even act, actors and actresses, keep their body fit. They don't eat everything in large quantities. That's how they stay healthy. So 
hopefully you got some information but now let's dig in deep um carbohydrates are the energy giving foods and proteins are the bodybuilding foods these both i told they're very very healthy in normal levels and they help you so much but in higher levels they're very very bad and sodium there is this deadly type of sodium it's it's a salt, it's called Ajinomoto. It's an Asian salt, which if you get it, if you consume it uh, before or during pregnancy, you will get birth defects. So it's very, very bad. You get the point. These are very, very unhealthy. So you better stay away from them. Not only that, we talk about, like, people think energy drinks, they don't contain calories, so they're good, right? They don't contain anything else, but no, they're not. The best energy drink is nature's own energy drink, water. You should drink at least 9 to 10 water glasses of water a day, um, and at least 5 or 6 liters of consumption, because it's the best energy giver, and it's very essential for your body and helps in digestion, so it's very good. And fruits such as papaya are very, very good for constipation. They stop it and stuff like that. Instead of it's taking tablets like Digene and stuff like that or syrups, these are the best alternatives. You can just eat papaya. It will help you di in digestion so much. It's way better than uh, Digene. It's a healthy and natural way to do that. And we just look for organic fruits on the market and we eat tablets. Why? There's even a Tamil poem saying this you don't need tablets. You can drink have herbal remedies. So hope this video was informational to you and please if you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit that like button and please be sure to subscribe and see you in another video. Bye